y'all welcome back to my channel and into another cash stuffing video this um, cash stuffing is for paycheck number two of March we are going to be stuffing into our um, savings challenges savings binder and our home savings binder um, I tend to do this about every other week my wallet looks like a hot mess um, but we are going to be stuffing I think 300 400 and something dollars let's check <clears throat> if you are new here welcome to my channel we'd love to have you my name is sue for those of you guys who are new um thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on this video i really do appreciate it for those of you guys who keep coming back um thank you so much it really means the world to me i appreciate your support tremendously um we are going to go ahead and just count this money and see what we're working with I do believe that I'm stuffing $395 into my envelopes, but I think I have a little bit more than that um, here in this pile. So we are going to count it and see how much we're working with. I'm going to start pulling out $5 bills out of my um, envelopes to go to my $5 challenge. So we will be slowly but surely replacing all the $5 bills that I have in my envelopes and putting those into savings. Um, so as I can, I will replace that. So anyway, when we get to that point, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So actually we have 470 here, um, which is a-okay. So that is what we're working with. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way and we will pull our wallet. Um, we have all kinds of receipts in here. We did um, do a little shopping, so I have garden receipts. We're working with that. I don't know where some of this money even belongs to at this point as far as going back into my sinking funds. So we are just going to roll it over and do what we do. Um, you see, I got all the receipts. So we will scan those into fetch after this video and get them out of my way. Um, so there's that. So in loose money, like we went and had to buy oil for the car. We went and bought, um, landscaping ties cause it's garden season. Um, and so forth like that. So we pulled quite a bit of money out of our sinking funds this week, but that's okay. That's what it's there for. Um, so in loose money, I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47. I'm gonna set all of that there for now and we will figure out what we're gonna do with that towards the end of the video. I tend to wing uh, a lot of stuff. If you guys watched my last um, video, you guys seen that I stuffed $200 in the grocery envelope, which is not something I normally do, but I did have some money left over, so let's count that. It was my middle child's birthday, so we ended up, you know, having some boys over here, and I'm one of those moms that just feed kids, you know? If they're at my house and there's something in my refrigerator and they're hungry, I just feed, feed all of the children. You know what I mean? I just do. Um, so, as a matter of fact, I would feed anybody, to be perfectly honest. It, it wouldn't matter who's at my house. So in food, I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Leftover in gas, we have, looks like 15 in here, 16 in there. I had, um, we had like a couple icy snow day so we didn't really go much anywhere um last week so that's the reason that there's more i usually don't have any money in gas either one of the two me or my husband one needs it usually 5 10 15 16 17 18. So I got quite a bit of money left over um, because we just didn't go anywhere um, because of the weather 
We have two dollars in home and miscellaneous. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And my personal money, I did this week, not spend it all. I did spend 20 of it. Um, so I'm going to set this back here and I'll put that into my personal sinking fund later. Let me move these receipts out of the way and we'll go ahead and get right in. <clears throat> I will stuff my wallet envelopes first. Um, food is not getting anything this week because I did online grocery haul. Normally I would um, record this video on Friday, but it is Sunday. Um, we had a very nice couple of days, and so we were getting the garden prepped um, for planting season. I mean, we started prepping the garden. We got a ways to go before we can plant, but we are getting to it, but we need to get it prepped because I'm having dirt delivered next week. Um, so... I would like the the prep work done before the dirt gets here so all we have to do is fill the beds with dirt and the flower beds and all that stuff um so yeah um anyway so food i did online and i've already picked that up gas i did fill up my gas tank already um but i am gonna put a 20 dollar bill in here just in case we need it going forward um, through the week. Um, sometimes uh, my husband drives a Jeep and sometimes he runs out of gas for the week. Um, so I'll put that in there. Chances my car won't because uh, she's got a full tank. Spending is going to get 20 as well. I got hair in here. Home will get 20 also. I don't look for me to have to use that envelope, but miscellaneous is going to get 20. And personal is going to get 60, and my husband got 60 already. What is going on here with my money? The problem is the bank. You would think that the bank would... Um, give me the money in the same order but apparently they're not as particular as i am so it's usually all going different directions and if you pull money out of the atm it's the same way the money's never going the same way when you get it out of the atm at least not at my bank um so we have 20 40 60 and i don't know if i mentioned but my husband also gets 60 dollars a week as well and that is going to do it for my wallet. I have a couple more receipts in here that I'm going to pull out so that I can scan them. I think I've already done that. Um, after the video. And then I will balance my checking account after the video as well. So there's that. Okay, so moving along, we are going to, we'll go ahead and fill allowance up, which is in my weekly binder. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this $40 that I had left over um, in my personal sinking fund envelope. While we're here, that's gonna drive me crazy. Bear with me, friends, bear with me. <clears throat> Uh, so Liam, I did go ahead and move their money into their um, savings accounts. So we're starting fresh this week. Well, Jack's, Jack's birthday, he spent all of his money that he had in here. He bought himself an Xbox with his birthday money. Um, so he's pretty proud of the fact that he was able to hang on to his birthday money for so long um, and not spend it. Liam will get 10 And Jack gets 15. Now these are just their allowance envelopes. Um, we automatically take 30% out of our paychecks 
that goes into various savings accounts, like a regular savings and then the kids' savings, we also contribute to that every single week. Um, and my boys are required to uh, save 30% of their allowance every week. Um, so there's that. So like, for example, Liam gets $10. He can spend all of it, but $3 of it <clears throat> and so forth and so on. Um, and that is going to be it for this envelope or for this binder because we're just doing basically savings this week. Um, so we are going to do, we'll start here, I guess. Um, actually, we're going to start over here. We're going to start with our home binder. It'll be easier that way um, when it comes down to it. So the, this binder is just stuff that is in around the house uh, that we know we're going to have to be replacing or we want to upgrade on in the next couple of years. So we are just slowly putting money back for these categories. Um, so that whenever the time comes, we have it. Um, so home savings is getting 20. <clears throat> so it now has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And these, uh, not my home savings or the home emergency uh, funds. This home emergency fund, I'm building up the deductibles for our, like our house insurance. I also have another one in my regular savings and that would be the deductible for the, like something happened to one of our cars or something. Um, then we have that on hand to be able to take care of business. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, emergency also gets 20, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and I do believe that this coming up week I will be doing a con cash condensing um, video maybe, hopefully, we'll see if I can get that squeezed in. Um, I normally have off on Fridays, but I've been having to work on Fridays because uh, one of my backup, the girl that's there to do my job whenever I'm not, is out um, recovering from surgery and she'll be gone for six weeks. She actually ended up having to have two surgeries. Um, so she, was, she has been out for six weeks and she'll be out for six more weeks because she's had surgery. So um we are kind of tight with our time because normally i do all my youtube stuff my household stuff all of the things on friday because that's the day that i don't work um but obviously i haven't been doing that you know sometimes you just have a certain amount of time and you just hope that you get the most out of your time and get the most things done that you possibly can i'm not a superwoman so i realize that i can't get everything done um, although I would like to. Anyway, we have, uh, this is in the roof. Did I add the $10 in here, friends? 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I did not. So the next seven envelopes all will get the same amount um, because these are all things that we're equally saving up for. Um, let me move that up so I'm out of my way. Um, so we will be giving it 10, <clears throat> 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 in there. And I will go back and do the trackers off screen because that, I already talked too much and this already takes long enough. I don't wanna waste your guys' time. Also, we'll get 10. Uh, 20, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. These next envelopes, the rest of these in this binder should all get the same and have the same amount of money in them. <clears throat> so 10 here as well. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And this is going to our bathroom remodel which uh, we've already redone one bathroom and now we just have to redo the master bathroom but because it's the master um 
I'm going to make it what I want it to be. Um, so there's that. So 10 in here as well. And this is for our bedroom. Our bedroom doesn't need a whole bunch of stuff, but I do want to get like a king size bed. I would like to do an accent wall. We need new curtains, maybe like that little couple furniture pieces, uh, like for the bedroom decorations and that. So it won't require a lot, but I am going to save up for it nonetheless. Um, and whenever I get to the, this, this is not, we don't have to tear anything out when it comes to the bedroom. So we'll just save it up until I see my vision of what I want it to be. I'm sure it's going to be farmhouse cause that's how I roll. Um, but once we get to the vision of where I want it to be, then we'll go ahead and take care of this using this money. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There's something sticky on this $20 bill. Maybe I should pull that out and put it in my cash envelope so it gets spent faster. Um, appliances, also in my kitchen. Um, we don't need appliances right now. However, I would like to, um, when the appliances start to go out, I'm going to, I would like to buy all three dishwasher, stove, refrigerator at one time so that it's a matching set. So that's what we're saving this money up for. Um, our refrigerator and stove is fairly new in this house. It was pretty new whenever we bought the house. Um, and, and it stayed here. So, uh, I don't look for us to have to replace anything directly, but you never know. 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. You never know when it comes to your appliances and that kind of stuff. We do a lot of the remodeling and the, you know, stuff by ourselves here. Um, so, I mean, we know quite a bit of how to fix things or to tear things out and replace things. Um, but appliances is not something that we really know too much about, if that makes sense. Um, so when that stuff starts to go, like we're not mechanic, refrigerator mechanics, you know what I'm saying? So when that stuff starts to go, we will have to replace it. Um, although I don't look for it to be in the near future, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. In there, uh, my backyard, um, this is an ongoing thing. Uh, with the backyard because as the spring comes we'll be working with uh, the backyard so it eventually will not always have the same amount of money in it as the other ones do because we always um, when it starts to come spring through the summer we're always basically working on things on the outside of our home and whenever the fall through the winter comes we might take on a project that's inside the home if that makes sense just to have a better schedule with timing of things if that makes any sense so backyard gets 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 as well so this point is is that this envelope will not always have the same amount of money in it um because we will pull from that one whereas the other envelopes we we won't um so that's going to do it for this binder let's go into my regular savings binder <clears throat> and regular savings over here also gets 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And this is just regular savings. Like we do have a regular savings account that we do put money into every week. Um, this is just additional that um, we may or may not end up having to get into over the course of the year. So that's why I have one in here as well as my home binder um, because, I mean, you never know, stuff goes, ar stuff goes awry when you have houses, okay? Emergency fund over here will also get $20. I would like to get these both of these envelopes to 1000 before the end of the year. We'll see if I'll be able to do that or not. Um, cross our fingers. 20, or 20, 50, 70, 90, 95, 100. And here. Uh, hold on a second, let me adjust this. Okay. Uh, $5 challenge, we'll be coming back to that. 
projects is going to get 20. There's all the time something little going around this house that I would like to do. Um, and this is just where I go. Like if I need, I don't know, to re caulk a tub or the toilet or to get, you know, something for the house, maybe a curtain. Like right now, Jack has destroyed the curtains in his rooms. Uh, so we're going to have to probably get that. So anything that requires just a little bit of money, this is where I go to pull out of. Um, and I do that quite a bit, actually. This should probably be in the sinking funds, but it's not. So 20, 25, 30. And it usually builds up for a little bit and then I end up taking it out. Extra payment is going to get 20. Um, and this is where I've been putting my, like my February challenge um, that I did and my January challenge that I did. I've already made the extra payment for January, but my February mini payment, our mini challenge money is in here as well. Um, so we now have in these mini challenges is for me, um, is I just going to put that into extra payment and I will either I'll apply that to the principal of my home, um, whenever at the end of every month or whatever, um, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So we now have $65 in there. Um, so that's a good start. We're only in the second week of March. Quarterly rollover, 52 weeks, and the mini challenge, we will, I guess we're gonna go ahead and do that now because that's all the envelopes that I'm stuffing. So out of, oh, sorry kids. Um, out of my money here, we're going to be stuffing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 10, and 5. So 115. Okay, so on my rollover, let's just set this aside. This is where I fund these um, quarterly... Uh, my rollover is how I fund my savings challenges, so I'm just not going and wasting or spending this money. Um, so we will see what we're gonna do here with my rollover real quick. I'm going to be putting my $5 into $5 savings for sure. Um, and I'm gonna start pulling, I'm probably gonna use this money to pull out of, um, $5 bills out of some of my envelopes so I can go ahead and get those moved over. I don't like spending my $5 bills. I like to save them. So I had been using, sometimes I, uh, like depending on my budget that week, I have to use $5 bills like in my home savings or something like that. So I'm not afraid to put them into my binders. But over time, I have every intention on pulling all the five, replacing the $5 bills um, so that I can move them into $5 challenge, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so let's pull out our quarterly here. Um, this quarterly challenge, and by the way, everything that you see here is in my Etsy store. Um, most of it should be. And also my fetch rewards for my uh, Coupon scanning, I know I talked about that in the beginning. It's also linked down below. My store is linked down below if you're interested. So this quarterly challenge, it ends at the end of March. Um, so that is the reason for uh, me going ahead and trying to pull some of this money now. Um, and I think that what we're going to do is, um, we're gonna pick a couple four, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then let's see, go ahead and mark this out, mark this out. What else do we have? All we have is four, fours and twenties left. So one, two, three, four, we'll do one more. And I may come back and put a 20 in here as well. So that is just going to go right here. 
Um, and if you finish this challenge in the quarterly rollover challenge, um, you have $250 at the end. And then you have two bonus spots up here at the top that you can use if you wanted to as well. If you got done with it early, um, you could go ahead and put extra money in there just to have it. Okay, so there's that. And we have 52 week challenge. Let's see what I can do here. We're going to do a 10. Well, let's do nine. One, two. Well, we're going to do 13. Sorry. Let's do 13. And then let's see. What else can I do? How many more ones do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So I have five ones in this 10. So I'll go ahead and do the 15. At some point, I'll have to budget those numbers into the budget. But for now, I'm just going to, actually, you know what? I'm gonna replace these 10s and add one 20. This envelope's getting kind of thick, so uh, we'll have to do some kind of condensing. I have all these fives in here that I have to replace as well, but we'll do that once it's finished for the savings challenges, so that one's done. And I usually pick, since I only stuff my savings Usually every other week I usually pick two envelopes here um, and I usually just whatever I can make do out of that one I pick. And then the mini savings challenge. Let's see, I don't have any 20s on here. So I guess we'll just, what will we do? Let's see, I got a 10, 15, 20. Uh, March mini, I think is 150, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but I do have the April one ready, posted and ready to go. The April one, because I just finished completing, designing it and putting it up, I know that one is $200 total for the month of April. And I believe March is 150. Um, so that's gonna do it for this binder. We are going to pull, see what we can pull here out of my cards. Let's see, what can I do since I don't have any ones? Hmm, I need something with a 20, a five. So I can put this $5 bill. Actually, maybe I'll just put the $5 bill into $5 savings. Um, and then I will pick a another card here. Do I have 30? I do. So I will do a 20 and a 10 from here and put this away in this one. I do have some of these boxes also on my Etsy store. Somebody asked me about these the other day. Um, I do have a couple sets that have the numbers punched out. I also have some where there's a hundred envelopes and it comes with little labels and you can make the box however you want to. So if you wanted to do um, 25 $10 bills, 25 cards that had $20 bills, 25 cards that had fives and 25 cards that had fifties, then you can make your box however you want it to, or you can label them one through 100 and do it that way also. Um, if you complete a numbered one, such as one through 100, at the end of the time frame that you do that, you have $5,050. So a lot of times I will pull two different envelopes, um, but since that's a $30 bill one, I will just do that for now. 
Um, but generally, I pull as many cards as I can, depending on the leftovers. And sometimes if I have change or something um, left over from something else, I may not film it, but a lot of times I come out here and pick a, bot, a number and fill that position up. Okay, so now I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 dollars left to replace my some of my five dollar bills. So let's go to savings first and see what I can do here. If I have any here, emergency, let's see. 510. So I'm going to put the two fives over there and put a 10 in here. Pull them $5 bills out. Uh, <clears throat> projects has some. It has two fives as well. So I will pull that out and replace it with a 10. And I'm not going to worry about the save the, well, this I might worry about. Let me see. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. <clears throat> One, two, three. Uh, I'll leave that there for now. At least I replaced four of those in there. Since I only have 20s left, I don't, I can't condense that any further. And those I will leave alone. The reason why I'm exchanging the extra payment one is because that at the end of the month gets deposited into my bank so I can make uh, an extra payment on our principal to our home loan. Let's go in here and see what I can find. 20, 40, or 20, 40, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll replace that. 50, 70, 90, that's right. And I have one more 20 I can replace. Black Friday maybe? One, two, sure can. One, two, three, four. So there's that and I will replace this 20 like that. Okay, so that worked out nicely. Now let's come back over here. Let's count our $5 bills that we're putting into $5 savings today. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So $150 is going into my $5 savings envelope. And as I have leftover cash from my budget, I will go ahead and just start pulling all these $5 out and replacing them as I go. Um, I may even just suck it up and take $500 about, I, I would say I probably have $500 around about total in five dollar bills so i may very well just take that out of savings and remove everything all at one time we'll see how it goes today is 3 11 and we have 150 150 so there is that and that is going to do it for today's video friends i hope you guys enjoyed it this binder is going to be real thick. I might need to do something different with those $5 bills. Um, we will see. I might get so many of them and then put it. Last year I saved them up. Once I got to 100 or 200, I would take them out and put them into the safe here at the house, but still keep track of them. So I may end up doing that again. Anyway, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're interested and you like this content, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for coming back and, and, and uh, supporting me on the channel and on my Etsy store. Thank you for everybody who has uh, purchased in the last little bit for my Etsy store. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, so anyway, that's going to do it for this video. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.